Did he die? Oh my god. <gasps> he died! I was in pure shock. Bro! Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Hey, 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 it's Taj and, a, and I hope that you all are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to Talks with Taj, or welcome to Talks with Taj if it's your first time here. Hello, my name is Taj and a. Turner, and I am an actress based in Los Angeles, California. And during my free time, I like to do reaction videos, vlogs, and reviews to your guys' favorite content. And in today's video, we are going to be reacting to Queen Charlotte, episode 3. And I actually have a callback that I have to get to in the next few hours. I have to eat before this audition so that my stomach isn't grumbling, so don't mind me and my shrimp and grits. So let's just hop right onto it. Wait a minute! The coronation King, King George III. Interesting. Who's... Is King George III, that's King George, right? Yeah, because Brimsley is still this age. <laughs> Brimsley always looks stressed. Why are you down here? Their height difference. This is so me in every relationship I'm in. <laughs> I thought they were not speaking. It does not matter if they speak, they must be united, so where is she? The king shall be with her soon enough. What? If, if you allow yourself another rider, do not think I care, but mind he is of the right station. I am not. What? That is not what- There are no other riders. I am simply below stairs. Okay, Brimsley, with the commitment. <laughs> yeah, I got you! I got you on camera! Is that what he was referring to? Exclusivity? <laughs> Doctor, we saw, we saw. What? Why is he not being examined by the royal physician? Brimsley, you have seen nothing. Oh god, you guys. I do not care what mother says. Coronation day is a great day. Is this young Violet? Then why did mother call it a farce? Uh, sit still or I will braid your hair crooked. <laughs> mother was going on and on to all the ladies at tea that their love means we now live in an unnatural society. Do not repeat what your mother says to anyone outside the family. You saw her at the wedding. Of course I accept her. It is not my place to question the palace. Does she not know she's sitting there? She's our queen. That makes her special. But the rest of them socializing among the ton. Mm. Do you know the men can go to White's now like regular gentlemen? I hate Violet's mom. I already hate her. But money does not make them us. The king gave them titles, did he not? Yes, beauty. Beauty. And land? Yes, Prince. All the families of the Ton got their titles and land from the king. It is not the same. It is. And Lord Smythe Smith and Lord Cummings were both at Harrow. And they all attended Oxford with Daddy. So they are exactly like us. Yeah. Better in some cases, considering that several of them are from royal families of their own <laughs> and have much more money than we do. <laughs> That is too much thinking. You're just mad that she's a genius? What has that governess been teaching you? To be smart, to be respectful, to be considerate and not racist, maybe? <sighs> it's like my daughter's smart. <laughs> more color. The whole tree should have more color. I have been saying this for years. It is a festive tree. What a wonderful tradition with which you have blessed all of England, your majesty. What more color? <laughs> everything I do is a blessing. You do not need to- What made her so cocky? Like, I love it. She's like, everything I do is a blessing. <laughs> I did my very best for the doll's house. Dearest, can you marry a doll house? Can you embroider me an air? Embroider me an air? Yes, I know. You are old. Your wombs are likely dry and useless. Oh my god! Look at me. I am absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I want her confidence. Oh, mother, could we marry a lost hunter? Of course not. You are not milkmaids. Oh, it is Christmas. We're kind of matching me and Charlotte with our patterns. So many spinsters. I'm obsessed with that wig. Sorry for the noises my food's making. I gotta eat. Are you gonna eat or are you just gonna sit there and look good all night? I'm gonna eat. You're gonna eat something. I'm eat. <laughs> I do not see why I cannot attend. It is a lady's tea. So you are friends now? I suppose. Tell her you would like to host the first ball of the season. That is not what tea is for. Perhaps you should stay home with me. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. I will address the topic with her. Good. Wait, what is she talking about with her? With who? So, she is confiding in you. I don't want her to be a double agent. The coronation has only drawn them closer. Is this true? Oh my god. 
gosh, so bougie. It's bad and bougie, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. It's coronation day. <laughs> that guy's wig is terrible. <laughs> Sorry. The fur. God save the king. I don't know why I thought. God save the queen. Queens only wore tiaras and kings only wore like those sorts of crowns. Whenever I see one on a queen, I'm like, interesting. Like the one in Princess Diaries does not, it just looks so odd on Anne Hathaway's head. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty though. So is this before she heard or after? Or are they just putting on a show? I'm assuming. I'm at a round of applause. Wow. Grimsley. Dress. Clear the holes. Right away. Uh oh. They're gonna fight. <laughs> Can you please help me get this off my head? <laughs> oh my god, no. I hate him. He's infuriating. He is so very polite. It is a lie. And you have spoken with her about an heir? We do not need to adhere to every even day. We do not. <clears throat> <laughs> the sooner you are with child, the sooner we can cease this performance and I will no longer have to view your face <laughs> I hate it but I love it yes because I would very much like to have the opportunity to no longer hear your voice it is difficult the actor can be awful it is no it's not no it's not it's the only part that's going well mm-hmm mm-hmm <laughs> Breaking things? <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> it is a nightmare. I hate his ridiculous face. Mm -hmm. I hate his voice. I hate the way that he breathes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you please not talk? I will talk if I wish to talk. You've been behaving like a child since my first morning here. Blame you have been breathing in my room. <laughs> Kicked in. She wanted him to stay and now that he's there, she's like, you're breathing <laughs> everywhere. Oh, wow. Let's not tease each other. Shall I leave? Yes, leave. I knew it. Ooh! <laughs> My word. <laughs> They're like... It is an even day. It is. <laughs> there? In front of everyone? Oh, wow. <laughs> They're like, do we go? Or... Should I stay or should I go now? They're gonna light themselves on fire. <laughs> they all just leave. The day has been heated. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> I do not suppose you would allow me to cool down in your chambers, Liz. <laughs> Bruh. That is the most bougie bathtub I've ever seen. It's got swans on it. It's an even day. Oh, is she gonna get in there with him? Ooh. Reynolds, get out. Reynolds, get out! <laughs> oh, she can't get it. He's gonna help her. Just get in. I kind of... I know it's bad, but like a demanding sort of energy that can be. We won't even get into it. We won't even get into it. I can't really get into it. All I can tell y'all is that it's about to go down. Meanwhile, wow, in the hot tub, man. Well, not the hot tub, but the bathtub. Now that the honeymoon has ended, we have galleries, operas, plays for you to see. I should like to do something for poor mothers in hospital. Oh, I love that dress. Uh, orange. Oh, Lord. Again. <laughs> again. If I was her, I would just pluck it myself and then be like, ha. I will get my own oranges from now on. There will be no discussion. Yes, Your Majesty. How often am I to host palace events? Uh, the king does not allow social events at the palace. Why? Oh. He's sick. You know, I truly do not know your majesty. It is simply his way. But why? He does not seem shy with people. <laughs> he has a nice smile. He is 
tall and strong, it smells like a man. It might have something to do with the doctor. Doctor? Oh, what doctor? Oh, he said something. I misspoke. No, leave us. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What doctor? <coughs> Words must be had. Ooh. You agreed to see nothing. I did not agree. Your eyes agreed. She is his wife. She should know. There is nothing to know. Can we talk about it? I have a hard time believing they don't actually like each other. And that they just want to just do this. Are you not well? Was that not up to your standards? Because oh, you I saw feel a like doctor the other day in the cellar. She knows. She knows. It's coronation day. The crown must be examined on coronation day. And I know she knows. If that is what you say, that is what I must believe. Charlotte. I'm off to bed. After all, I am now. What were those words? Ah, living for the happiness or misery of a great nation. Bruh. I was born for the happiness or misery of a great nation and consequently must often act contrary to my passions. Dang. It's not looking good. Do we think there will be a baby soon? There is pressure from Lord Bute. Who even is Lord Bute? Like, what is his title? What is his job? What do you do? <laughs> uh, yeah. That dress. It's like a comforter, like one of those fancy royal ones. The first ball of the season with you. No, that will not be accepted. Oh, I hate you. I know you would like Artiste to continue. It would be difficult for you to hear about the Queen being with a child long after the fact. Mm -hmm. I shall take it up with Lord Bute. <laughs> we love to see black women standing, owning, and in their power. Why is this her whole plot line, guys? Why is her whole plot line her having to be I'm feeling very venomous and angry. She's such a powerful character. Like, you don't have to continue showing us this. Uh, did she say when she would let you know about the ball? You can mention it. You don't have to keep showing it. She was not enthusiastic. I dangle joy in front of me and never let me grasp it. She gets that. You are every bit as good as they are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was so nice. I think she was talking more about herself, but... Was this one a terribly awful round, my lady? I have decided we are going to host the first ball of the season. Princess Augusta gave her approval. She has not yet decided, which is where I shall need to send her invitations before she does. Ooh, interesting. So she doesn't need her approval, or...? How lovely to see you here. Lovely. Possibly. <laughs> Unexpected, definitely. There's my husband's birthday today. Uh, was. Mm. Would, would, be, would, would have been. He liked his birthday. This man literally died from a bee, of all things. Now every time I see a bee in Bridgerton, I'm like, <laughs> someone's gonna die. Are you hurt? What? Can you breathe? And I would make him hats, hats that had been made for me when I was a child, and he would wear them the entire day. He looked ridiculous in them. <laughs> Love. Mm. I do not like them. Mm. It reminds me that there are no hats to make. Oh, God, I'm gonna cry. No. You are most fortunate. Yeah. She, has a re she had a real love. You may not like today, but trust me, you are most fortunate. Yeah. Oh. She doesn't even know Lady Danbury's history. Oh, God, what happened with her husband? I'm scared. Is it just years of that, or did something worse happen? <gasps> Why are you shrieking? The Danburys are throwing the first ball of the season. Miss Fernbest says they have the most magnificent home with endless gardens. No, you may not go. You are not out. And even if you were out, you could not go. Out? We are not going to their home for any reason. Like, for courting season? It is enough that I must see her at court. I'm about to beat this bitch up. We don't get a lot of scenes with her, I'm not gonna lie. Not Violet, but her mom. What's up guys, I am back and as you can see I am in different hair and a different outfit. I unfortunately, well not unfortunately, very fortunately actually, had to go to my audition a little bit earlier so I had to stop the recording but we are jumping right back on into it and let's get to it. How come Violet's dad never says anything? Like I have a hard time believing that he married this woman. He seems so sweet, why is he with a racist? I mean, I guess that was common for the time, but still. 
speak up, sir. I love Lady Danbury's dress. <laughs> Play another. Hmm. That piano is beautiful. A child named Mozart. Where is he from? Does she know taste? <clears throat> it's Mozart. You clearly are the one that has no taste. Her Majesty has an excellent musical ear, does she not? Her Majesty is wonderful. Mm. We love a supportive bestie. Your, your Majesty. Lord, have mercy! I received an invitation to your little ball. So sad to miss it. <laughs> I will have to do something intrinsically evil. He's delicious. I mean, I really do mean that. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I would have fell right out the window. Oh, I love in old movies where the guys wear shirts like this and they're just unbuttoned and... Oh. I require privacy. What are you about? What are you about? Farming. So King George is Farmer George? Yes. Farmer George. I am Farmer George. Mm, Farmer George. These are the hands of a king and a farmer. Does anybody else have a thing about hands? Like, I shall leave. Guys with nice hands. I don't know, I've always been fascinated by hands, even since I was younger. I think it's just growing up a creative. Looking at someone's hands, I feel like you can tell a lot about the sort of things that they do. Like whether they're a pianist or a guitarist, whether they draw. Are there medicinal herbs in the garden? No, Your Majesty, just vegetables. She's probably wondering if he's trying to find a cure for himself. I have the situation well in hand. Do you? Wives all over London are yelling at their husbands. Lord Ledger's wife is leading the charge. That's Violet's mom, right? I have lords whining all around. His hair is like... <laughs> Lady Danbury can withdraw the invitation. He's the same guy that was like, can we just cancel the agreement? The palace will lose all moral authority and the great experiment will be in ruins. I don't think it's that deep. Cancel the ball. If there's one thing I know about Lady Danbury, she's going to put on that ball and she's going to show out. So you're hosting a ball? How lovely. It I wanted to ask if you would encourage the other ladies in waiting to attend. There he is. <laughs> She's so distracted. Your Majesty. George, he is gardening. Why would he do that? <laughs> it is so curious. Your Majesty, please. Oh. Princess Augusta has asked me to cancel my ball. If Princess Augusta has You won. are the queen. So we are new. Do you not see us? What you are meant to do for us. Mm -hmm. You're so preoccupied with whether a man likes you. You're not some simpering girl. You are our queen. Yes. Yes, queen. Why do you not understand that you hold our fates in your hands? Yeah, she has a higher part in all of this. These walls are too high, your majesty. It's not her fault. She's genuinely been isolated. She hasn't been able to do a lot of those queenly things. She's been restricted access, you know? Hmm. She's given her another perspective to consider, though. Because those are the things she should be more cognizant of, but you know, she is very preoccupied with George. Farmer George. Girl, I'll be too. <laughs> What's crazy to me is that this is a wig. Do you wear wigs? Uh, no, I do not. I have picked my own orange. You have, Your Majesty. <laughs> yes, take your power back. Is she pregnant? I was saying it's crazy to me that these are all wigs because the hair looks so natural. Like this is what my hair would look like if I brushed it out when it was curly. But I think that's a wig, which is wild. Even day. He is inside your majesty. Do you wear wigs? How is it she looks good in every color? <laughs> this little pompadour. <laughs> They're gonna hold pinkies. <laughs> mad at him. Bro, his hair is giving Steve Harrington, Fran Jesher, like, look at all those hands. <laughs> I wanna hold your hand. Now let me hold your hand. How is it that just something as simple as like a slight caress of the hand can be so tension building. 
Don't leave. <laughs> you live for the happiness and the misery of a great Charlotte. nation. No, I am saying yes. I understand. That must be exhausting and lonely. No wonder hmm. you spend so much time in the garden. In the garden, I'm a regular man. Farmer George. Do not feel sorry for me. I do not know anything else. We're looking at each other. We're talking to each other. An exhibit instead of a person. Oh. You are a person to me. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Look how he's looking at her. He's so appreciative. I'm scared. No more even days and odd days. Every day. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yes. Can I ask what brought this on? I picked my own orange. He's like, <laughs> and I know you do not like social events, but I need us to do something. What do you need? Our palace walls are too high. Mm, wait, is she gonna make people come to the ball? Lady Denver's ball? Yes! Oh, that shot was beautiful, by the way. Stunning. I love, I love it. I want to go to the Bridgerton experience so bad. Like, I just want to experience a ball. I've always wanted to since that scene in Enchanted. <laughs> to fulfill my princess fantasies. <sighs> just one day, you know, just get dressed up like this and put on a really nice gown. Have hair to the sky. Oh, it's so pretty. Why has no one arrived yet? As much as I dislike this man, I'm glad that he's getting to throw this ball with her. Lord and Lady Ledger. Hey! <laughs> they showed up. <laughs> I did not think you would be attending. Me neither. We would not miss it. <gasps> Why did she snatch her hand away like that? She tried to miss it. <laughs> but then she received a personal note from His Majesty the King. Hey! Yes, George. Well done, Lady Danbury. He seems like such a sweet guy. I like you. Let's be friends. Oh, let's be friends. When can I get you on one of my hunts? Yay! Augusta. This is so important. Lord Danbury. Lady Danbury. See, she didn't even realize the impact that she had. And all she had to do was talk to George and look. Making a difference for everyone. This makes me happy. He's like... <laughs> Okay, so how come some of them have really wide... Is it a hip girdle? Hip? What, what do you call that? The, the thing that fans out and accentuates your hips? Some of them are a lot wider and fan out a lot more than others. They are not mingling. Yes, hair! Shall we? She's starting to get the heart-shaped wigs. Oh, I wonder if those are more in like... Not public settings, but when you're more on display, she has higher hair than she does when she's just in the palace by herself. This music! Okay! Mm, yes! Not Alicia! Is that the song? Some people live for the fortune, some people live for the fame. May I have a dance with your wife? Oh! I love this man! So oh, he said it. He set the tones that they knew it was okay to do that. I didn't even realize. Oh, I love that she has hair jewelry draping down the side of her head. Oh, OMG. He's so happy. He is. Look how he looks at her. Oh, I will never be able to stop talking about it. Oh, these scenes are so stunning. Oh, uh, thank you. You never have to thank me. Oh, speak so nice to her right now. What is going on? We are a team. We are a team. Are we not? They were just fighting. Now they're good. This better stay good, you guys. If this goes downhill again, like, quit messing with my emotions. I know the writers are going to do it to me. They're going to give me hope and they're going to snatch it. And I just don't, I don't want to go through that. <laughs> Mission completion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, we are a success. Yes, indeed. I am a success. And celebrate. It's all her. Let's, let's not, let's, let's not, let's, let's not celebrate. Let's not. I thought 
he mainly only celebrated when things went awry. With one evening, we have created more change than Britain has in the last century. You can do anything, George. With you by my side, I think I can. That's so cute! I'm gonna cry! Oh my god, look at this! She needs a dressing gown. Because first, we're going to find something to eat. And then, we are going back to my bedchamber. George, be careful! <laughs> they are too cute. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. This is my favorite Bridgerton couple of all time. Like, I just... Something about them... I don't like these scenes. They're literally horrible. <laughs> my lord. Did he die? Oh my god. <gasps> he died! I was in pure shock. Bro! Ain't no way. Ain't no way. No way! <laughs> Bruh. The upstairs footman bring up water for a bath. Coral! You need not draw baths as often. My lady, we are... We are done. <laughs> not them excited that he died. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, no. Okay, look, I know I said I wanted him to die, but I feel really bad. Like, right after he got that little dose of happiness, he just has, like, a heart attack in the attic. I know she's been waiting for this for a minute, but... Bro, not the fake finding him. I love his gun! I love his gun! <laughs> I'm screaming. Thank you for coming to tea. But how kind of you to offer up your entire week of afternoons. Yes, well, and when I sent word today that I had broken a carriage wheel, how thoughtful of you to send your own carriage. <laughs> I wanted to speak with you. I gathered. Oh, is she still mad that she said you were fortunate? I was with the Archbishop, discussing funding a school for orphan girls in the name of Lord Danbury. Oh, noble. Not really. <laughs> I suppose I should be funding schools in honor of my husband instead of mourning his loss. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> the petty conversation. Danbury disdained orphans. Little pig dropping. Nobody loves And found girls useful only for breeding. Mm. Oh. You loved in you, Edmund, lives on. I loathed in me, Herman rots. Your heart is full. Mine starves. So when I called you fortunate, it is because you are fortunate. Gosh, she's so powerful. <laughs> Do we have something stronger than tea? <laughs> yes, Violet. <laughs> tea. I think we should. Yeah. <laughs> The scenes are so short yet so powerful. Like, that wasn't a lot of lines, and so much was painted. <laughs> Your hair is giving peacock. <laughs> Where is George? You are driving me nuts. Why do you think my girls never married? I cannot imagine. Brimsley, do not attempt to flatter me by talking about my children. It makes me dislike you more. Answer <gasps> the question. <laughs> they love you, and the king. It happened so early. You were so young. If he had died, maybe you would have been hurt, grieved, but eventually you would have healed and moved on. Instead, you are still his queen, forever frozen. Your daughters could not leave you here, trapped in time. Go and stand over there and stop talking. That's crazy because she still wears stuff that's very... Look that way, not at me. ...representative of that time. Like, everyone else's style has kind of evolved and she's still wearing that style. Which I think is more flattering. I personally like it better, but... She asked him, <laughs> you know? He gave her an honest answer. Not the one she wanted to hear, obviously, but... So I'm assuming he gets sick, and she's constantly, like, hoping he'll get better or waiting for him to pass, and he just never does, and so she's stuck thinking about all the wonderful times I assume they do have while he's fading. George? Farmer George? I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh my god, please. Please don't let things go downhill. Please don't let things go downhill. They're so good right now, please. Well. Oh, is his memory going? <gasps> George. Show yourself. 
He's ma he's forgetting who he is. Can I back to your post? We are fine. Are we? <laughs> She's so calm about it. George, like she, she's not. It's cold. You have nothing on your feet. Like she's not judging him in any way. She's genuinely just trying to understand and. Finish me. I see you. Clear the back hall. Lock the servants in downstairs if you must. Keep everyone away. I just don't get how. Okay, he's going in and out of hysterics like he has these episodes, but is it only sometimes? And then that's why his footman's always trying to keep everyone isolated from him so that no one finds out. I knew you would come! I knew it! I figured if they're in the castle with him, they would know. Is this Venus? Do you see her? I do, your majesty. George? <laughs> Farmer George. Oh, he responded to Farmer George. I am Venus. And Venus is going inside. Hello darkness, my old friend. I thought you were in the sky. I was in the sky, but now I am going inside. Into Buckingham House. <laughs> oh, I knew it! I knew he was gonna call her his Venus! There's gonna be a metaphor later about how she's his Venus or something. She's genuinely just there for him right now, like she's not... Venus. She's gotta be worried, but she's not letting him know she's worried. Everyone was scared of her finding out because they thought that she would run, but she's genuinely... Supporting him, no judgment, just all love, all care, all support. And to think that that's probably how it was for years as he's starting to go, because these are the beginning stages. Like, I can't imagine how bad it got. <sighs> Guys, that's so sad. Oh, George, no. You're not gonna end up happy. That kills me. Ugh, okay guys. So that was my reaction to Queen Charlotte episode three. If you got to the end, comment Farmer George or actually comment, comment Venus. I do want to discuss more on the topic. I will probably talk about it more in the next video because I do have to go to work now, but like I said, thank you so much for all of the support that you guys have been giving me on the Queen Charlotte videos. I love editing them. I love getting to go on this journey with you, and I'm just super excited to see how the rest of the story unfolds. I know I keep saying that, but I really am. And so far, this is my favorite Bridgerton couple. Like, I'm 100% sure. I just, I feel very connected to them. My heart hurts for them insanely, and I just feel very represented also, probably just by Queen Charlotte, so that gives me a more personal <laughs> connection to them but i love this i love this so much uh yeah i will see you all in the next episode if you like this video please don't hesitate to dance on over to that subscribe button so you can join our ever-growing family also please don't forget to click the link in the description box to join the patreon so that you guys can watch these episodes moment to moment with me in real time and i will see you all in the next video <sighs> bye